Hi friends, welcome to Electrical and Instrument Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how miniature circuit breaker works or how MCB works. So friends, uh, you can see the MCB I have completely opened up. So let us understand how the current flows inside. What is the direction of the current flowing? So this is the upper part of, uh, this is the upper terminal of the MCB and this is the lower terminal of the MCB, okay. So we can identify in this way, you can see the printing position, okay. okay. So suppose we have fastened the live wire here in this terminal at the upper terminal, the current will flow through this magnetic trip, this is the magnetic trip and it will reach up to the fixed contact this is the fixed contact okay so currently this mcb is under off condition uh, let me make let me switch it on so this is the this is the moving contact this one is the moving contact so when we switch on the mcb the fixed and the moving contact will get connect with each other okay and the current will then reach up to this copper braided wire and it will reach up to the biometallic strip this is the biometallic strip and then it will reach up to the lower terminal so from here likewise everything would be connected in series like this okay so this is how the current is flowing through now let us understand the parts of the mcb so this is the upper terminal and this is the lower terminal this two terminals we know that uh, it is used for uh, to fasten the wires okay this is the operating mechanism this is the handle the lever you can say to uh, manually switch on the mcv this one like this you can see okay so this is the operating mechanism you can see when i switch on the mcv the spring has come under tension that this tension is provided only during on condition. The reason is to reduce the torque required to switch off the MCB during abnormal condition. Abnormal condition means either in case of short circuit or in case of overload protection. So that's why the spring tension is only provided uh, during on condition. Okay. <clears throat> This is the biometallic strip. Can you see this biometallic strip closely? I will try to uh, get a close look of the biometallic strip. This one is the biometallic strip. The biometallic strip is used <coughs> under overload condition. During overload condition, this biometallic strip will bend and it will it will actuate this latch. You can see it will operate this latch. You can see. Okay, so uh, this is the, this, this one, this is the actuator, it's a part of that actuator. So when it will bend, this latch will get pulled in this direction, you can see to, towards the lower terminal, it will get pulled and the MCB will get switched off. Okay, now this is the uh, magnetic trip, okay, this is the coil. During short circuit condition, when this coil gets energized, so a plunger will come out. You can see the plunger. Can you see? Okay, so this is the plunger came down. This is the plunger. So again, the plunger, when the MCB is under uh, on condition, this plunger will operate the same latch. This is the latch and it will hit the latch towards the lower terminal. The MCB will get switched off. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the fixed contact and these are the moving contact. This is the moving contact. So when the MCB gets switched off after the on condition, arc will get produced here. So this design is done to give the path to the arc, to travel the arc towards arc extinguisher. This is the arc extinguisher and this one you can see, you can see there are 12 splitters. These are the splitters. Okay. So, <clears throat> when this, this arc will come and it will hit the splitter. So, the arc will get split and hence the arc will get extinguished. 
okay so uh, this is what all about the MCB and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video subscribe for more upcoming videos thank you very much